statistics will show you that on March 24, 1971, one Nigerian pound exchanged for three US dollars. So you would need 300 US dollars to buy 100 Nigerian pounds. But as time went by, certain things began to happen. In fact, by the time I was five years old, in 1976, one Nigerian Naira was now exchanging for $1.33. Meaning you would still need $133 to buy 100 Naira. And then something happened. And within a matter of 30 years, I can share a few of my thoughts about what I think happened. Within 30 years, on the same day, March 24, this time 2006, one dollar is now exchanging for 133 naira. And within 10 years, on the same day, March 24, 2016, 331 naira is required to buy one dollar. So what could have happened in those times? Well, I would say to you that in 1976, as the child of a lecturer, living in a small three-bedroom bungalow, no special treatment for anyone, that was my first experience of the fact that there will be a power outage. If it happened before then, I couldn't remember. But I remember the first time that light went out. And I remember my mom saying, stay where you are, stay where you are, stay where you are, fella, yes, mommy, Jimmy K, yes, mommy, Father, yes, mommy, stay where you are, before she could finish saying stay where you are five or six times, light had come back. And we did not have a generator. We were not any special, no special treatment. This was the norm for everyone. Because at that time, Nigeria was a nation that worked. But as we lost power, we lost value in our currency. But that wasn't all we lost. As we lost power, we started losing good businesses. Anybody remember Bata? <laughs> Leonard's? Yeah. Okay Foods? Or keep biscuits, at least you remember that one. <laughs> How many people remember KDK Electronics? Some people are looking at you and say you're a dinosaur. <laughs> Anybody that is less than 35 will probably not remember much of the things that we're saying now. As we lost businesses, we started to lose value in our currency. Enterprise transformed from people who you could see the works of their hands, who hired labor. And all of a sudden, we started seeing people driving big cars without having any big businesses. But that wasn't all we were losing. We also were losing the value for education. And as we lost education in our schools, we lost value in our currency. But most importantly, as we lost our values as a people, we also lost our value in our currency.